It's very quickly. Are you one of Harold's men? I am. The king wishes... Let me ask. Are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome... I need your eyes, my friend. I don't like the way those soldiers watch you. I find it flattering. You think? Orlok. There's a player in every port and city. Yes, Orlok! I will pass this time. The dice will not roll themselves, you know. You think one will marry you and clear you off to the capital? <laughs> would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you Moon Knight magpie. Leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. It will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wash will never end! Or they will push us into the Christian ways! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own! Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotve's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell.
Favor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May I give bless your voyage. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established the settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. 
This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. I'd love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. I should do this more often. Relaxing. It's beautiful. But it's not normal. Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec, and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead.
Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all! I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease, sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled.
Come to stop the boat. Right Pull up over there. Wait forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it from somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. My core, what's got into you? I should be cautious around here. Barry. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. We 
Should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd. To get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be... We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last! To find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, as they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. But if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these demons! Let's be going now. Oh, guys! 
I'll check the longhouse. With those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable, to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home.
Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor? Sigurd? I give you England, and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe. The village of ravens. Hmm. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my lord. What else have you found? Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me. I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. Tomorrow we may build! At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries... Need to row our way out. Ah, by nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. We can use the sail here, Abel. Sail! Sector. Catch the wind!
Who will share a tale? Here is a story I have not told a man, for it happened only last month. I was sharing on me the horn with the I stand ready. Only say the word. I stand ready. Only say the word. To battle! All ashore! Protect what you can and be swift about it. Or we slay every last man and take all the time we need. Should you be so lucky. Give me a hand with this. Hey. 
my eyes. Hey, come here! Back so soon, and we good news. Ah, this is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. <laughs> Hello, and well met. I need your eyes, my friend.
Hytham, now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do. Starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Hello there, friend. into smaller territories called Shire. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the Longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Hmm. A letterbox for messages and requests. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm, not much, but it is mine. I like living in the Longhouse. I feel like a Jarl. Greetings, 